Hi, this is David. For a long time I've wanted to build a fancy traditional woodworking bench. And I came across these slabs of oak and I decided the time is now. It'll have two end vices down here. I already had those. I also have this Emmert pattern maker's vise which is going on it. It'll have a leg vise on the front side over here and a shoulder vise over there. I'm going all out. It's got massive legs. It's really heavy. Uh, I've been watching everybody and reading all the books I can and uh, checking it out. I think it's going to be really cool. Hope you all enjoy it. So these oak planks that I sourced are real close to the center of the tree. The grain's wrapping around them. They want to open up here. They want to check. They're real wet inside. They're going to do some moving and some drying. And, and uh, so I got an idea to stabilize everything. I went and I drilled holes all along. And then I turned some dowels out of some wangi that I had around. And these dowels will go in there and be glued. This dowel, this this one right here will actually go through the tenon on the leg and this will be the drawboard dowel for the leg. That'll be the same on all four legs. At this end, these, these will go right through the tenon on the leg. Well, to turn the Wangi dowels for my bench. First, I had to rebuild my old lathe. This is a 1959 Rockwell Delta. And we put new bearings and belts on it and cleaned up all the parts and uh, gave it a coat of paint. And it's, uh, it's kind of a nice thing to have in the shop. Okay, here are the planks and the orientation they're going to end up at. This piece will be dovetailed on here to support a shoulder vise here. And then this piece will dovetail onto the front plank and then tenon into here. That'll be the rear chop of the shoulder. So I'm laying out the dovetails on here. And these boards are already all squared up, so I set my marking gauge and I drug it across. I actually clamped both boards together, so I marked them both at once. That's the way I'll cut them as well, when I cut out the dovetails on here. So I marked them, I marked the shoulders on the sides, I marked the top and the bottom and the shoulders on this side. I forgot where, but just recently I learned that you can use your router plane as a really nice marking gauge. It works really, really nicely for tenons because you can cut your tenons and your mortise is exactly the same width with the same, same mark, the same setup. You don't have to worry about measuring and uh, making uh, funky lines that aren't quite on. And it just makes a real nice marking gauge. So I just marked in here on both sides. Just drug it along, made a nice mark there. Then I came in with my little square which I've already set and I marked it here and I marked it up from the bottom. Can't really see it that way too well can you? can see it better up here. You can see where the marking gauge cuts it in here.
and then I marked it here on each side and then I took my bevel gauge my sliding T bevel and marked these out that way everything's going to be the same because I marked them off gauges rather than measuring every one I still have to mark my cuts down here and, uh, and then I'll be able to cut these out with a saw Okay, I managed to get all my mortise and tenons cut for the legs. I've got them laid out for stretchers. I uh, have the stretchers laid out. I've gotten the two parts of the top fastened together. In the next video, I'll go through the, the vices and uh, the stretchers. See you then.